What's up everyone? My name is Eric Marsh. I am 29 and I suffered a complete Achilles tear. All right. So how did I get hurt? I got hurt playing basketball. Uh, they can the internet and stuff. They call the Achilles injury the weekend warrior injury. And I would consider myself to be a weekend warrior. I cycle, I run, um, I do the different, you know, rugged races and stuff. Uh, and I also play basketball. Uh, when I got hurt, I was not doing anything crazy. Uh, it was in my fifth game of the night. Pat played four games. We hit one, all four. Yep. Um, but in that fifth game, I caught the ball in the midcourt. Took the ball. I had swung through from left to right. Took a hard step, and it popped. It popped. Uh, like most people that you'll watch a video of, I, it felt like somebody kicked me. You know, I turned around and I actually said it out loud. It was a loud pop. I felt it kind of like come up through my body. But um, ultimately, I knew what it was. I follow Kobe. You know, I look at the different Achilles injuries. You know, I, I kind of, you know, he's one of my favorite players. But in my mind, I was like, I just popped my Achilles. You know, uh, at the end, well, once I got hurt, I had them take me directly to the hospital. Now, I recommend that for anybody. If you're watching this video and you think your Achilles is broken, go to the hospital. Don't walk on it. I've had friends. I've also felt, I also was kind of aware of the fact that I broke it because I um, popped it toward. Um, I have three friends that had it. You know, one lives upstate in Indianapolis, two live down here in North Carolina where I am. And it's just a common injury nowadays for the weekend warriors. I had met a guy um, that had it he walked on his for an extended period of time it increased the separation um between the, the two ends of the tendon after a tour I'm gonna put these bands down but um he increased it increased the separation you know walking the more you walk on it further it goes and what happens is if your achilles draws up too much they'll end up taking tendon from the bottom of your foot from your plantar um, fasciitis and they'll put it in so that will extend greatly 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 extend your recovery for one and then two it takes away the option that you have for not having the invasive surgery okay they're going to ask you two things well they're going to ask you if you want to have surgery or if you don't if you don't want to have it it's, it's a process where you know they put you in a cast for an extended period and they try to put your toe out like this and then the cast they'll bring it up over time. You know, I opted to have the surgery because of where mine tore. Most of the people that opt to have the non-surgical surgery, their Achilles tear is higher. Okay? Your Achilles connects your calf, um, connects your calf, goes to your heel. Most of the tears are about an inch and a half between two inches above the heel. Mine fell in that margin. Um, those are, I don't know if it's because of the way they heal or because how people, the options and stuff like that, but most of the people I've talked to, I've seen, looked on the web, that had that tear that is that low, they opted for the surgery. You know, I opted for it. I thought the chances were good. I looked at the stats, the statistics and stuff. Then it didn't, it didn't strike any fear into me. You know, I'm all about having a quick recovery. Uh, doing what's best as soon as possible. Uh, you could be, you can have that same stance and you can go without it. But I just felt like that was the best option for me. <sighs> right now, I'm at week six, but I kept notes. I kept a journal. I didn't want to get on here too soon and talk about it because it was a pretty tough injury for me. You know, as a as a weekend warrior, um, as they say, you know, I, I live a very very active life. So it took me through. It took me through the ringer emotionally and mentally, you know, so I wanted to make sure I got on here after I kind of understood more, uh, especially how I was feeling because I didn't want to be on, on YouTube venting about or moaning and whining. Um, so if you're dealing with this injury right now, I just want to let you know that uh, your body wants to heal itself, you know, and this is the perfect time for you to kind of get some rest. Uh, it's unfortunate if you tore your Achilles, you know, but you got to deal with it. So um, spiritually, mentally, and physically right now, you have to wipe out everything that would inhibit you from recovering quickly. 
You don't want to have your mind clouded up with stuff. You don't want to have any drama you got going on. You know, anything that's stressing you out, even if it's, even if it's your job, you have to put that aside and you have to put 100% of your attention towards recovering. Okay, 100% of your attention and your energy and everything towards your recovery. Your Achilles is a very serious one. It, it, it's a life-altering experience, but you can recover. You can do it. But right now, um, the main thing you need to do is kind of clear your plate, clear clear your plate, and get ready. Get ready to recover. Okay. Um, like I said, I kept notes. I'm going to be recording multiple videos to kind of talk through it. But I just want to let you know how I got hurt. Um, and to let you know that it's going to be straight. All right. So my next video, I want to talk about the days leading into the surgery, all the things that I purchased. I'm going to talk about um, nutrition. That's going to be key. And kind of the things I did um, that helped me recover. Right now, I'm at week six and I'm walking um, not in the tall big boot, but in a shoe. If that makes sense. So that's six weeks. In six weeks, I recovered. It could be a special case, but I want to tell you everything I did to kind of help me get back on my feet.